So urea is a form of nitrogen that is extremely common in Oklahoma agriculture systems. It is a safe, efficient, and effective form. It's 46% nitrogen and with no other nutrients in it, so it's a fairly high quantity when it comes to a dry nitrogen fertilizer. When it's worked into the soil or irrigated in, it's very effective and very efficient at getting that nitrogen into the plant quickly. However, urea does have one strike against it. When it sits on the soil surface and has the right conditions present, it has an opportunity to have great losses. If you apply urea on the soil and it's not incorporated within one to about seven or eight days, you can expect anywhere between five and 60% loss. Now that's a big range, but that range comes back again to the environment. If your temperatures are cool, let's say under 60 degrees, it slows down the losses. If it's warm, if it's windy, and if there's moisture present, it's going to drive those losses. Now what's driving that loss is how urea goes from a prill to a nitrogen source that the plants can use. Urea is actually the urea compound. When urea is dissolved, it gets wet, that urea prill dissolves, the first thing that happens in the system is typically a little enzyme called urease attaches to that urea molecule and turns it from urea to ammonia, which is NH3 and that's a gas. Now ideally, if we have a soil particle near that ammonia, it's going to grab a hold of that soil particle and it's going to turn to ammonium, NH4, which is a solid form and that's where we want it. The problem is, if that urea prill is sitting on a soil surface, it's turned to ammonia in a liquid solution and that solution dries, that ammonia can escape as gas and we lose it. And that's where that losses come. And so our conditions where we can lose urea the most would be no-till or pasture when we have a moist soil condition. So we need just enough moisture to start mounting that prill, but not move it into the soil system. If we can get a half inch rain after application, that's typically enough to dissolve the prill and move it down. If we get a one-tenth of a rain, that's enough to start mounting the prill, but it doesn't move it into the soil at all. So again, our conditions that we look for where losses are increased are a wet soil, dews, light rains after application, temperatures above 60 degrees, and winds. Because if it's windy, that wind has helped driving that moisture that's present and driving that ammonia off the system. So as you're coming to urea application, if you're in a no-till system and you have these conditions present, a, so a wet soil or short rains coming, no rain in the near future, we need to think about things such as adding a urease inhibitor or trying to find a way to get that urea into the soil.